they've been making cloth out of cotton in India for several thousand years now. Um, but the kind of cotton that grew in this country, except very right along the Atlantic coast, was short staple cotton. With short staple cotton, the seeds were embedded and were sticky. And pulling the seeds out of the cotton was very, very difficult. I mean, for instance, one man could pick, in a day, could pick about 50 pounds of cotton in the field. It would then take him three weeks to pull the seeds out of the cotton. And Eli Whitney, who was a New Englander from Connecticut, visited the South. And so he, he was a, you know, one of these Yankee tinkerers. And he came up with this device that is so simple, any competent carpenter can make one in, in half a day, which had combs that would pull the cotton and then they would go through other combs leaving the seeds behind. And they, the seeds would go into one box and the cotton would go into another. And with the cotton gin, one man could gin as much cotton in one day as previously it had taken him three weeks. In other words, enormous saving in, in, in labor and thus a tremendous drop in the price of cotton to produce. So you could sell it for less and still make a handsome profit. And it turned out that the American South was the best place in the world to grow cotton once the cotton gin was invented. The growth in the cotton industry was just phenomenal in the antebellum period. I mean, we went from like 40,000 pounds in 1800 to um, 2 billion pounds in 1860. And it became known as King Cotton. Slavery had been in decline, and a lot of the plantation owners at the end of the 18th century were either freeing their slaves or they were um, freeing them in their will. When the cotton gin came along, Cotton became so profitable that it revived slavery. And even the parts of the South that were too far north to grow cotton, like Virginia and Maryland, began selling slaves south to the new cotton plantations. And the price of a field hand, which had been around $300 in 1800, was up as much as $6,000 by 1860. In other words, slaves became so valuable as a commodity that the idea of freeing them, of getting rid of this awful system of, of forced labor, um, just disappeared, just became politically impossible. And it was a, a terrible tragedy. I mean, cotton made the South and it also destroyed the South. Uh, and the, the reason was slavery.